you're still watching ways now world animal day dates as far back as 1925 it's a day set aside for ecologists to discuss the problems associated with endangered species and this day is also a day to remind not just the lovers of the animals in our homes but also to appreciate the res and respect all things that are living and that are part of our ecosystem so Shemu and Bimbo, which of the animals do you love? Love dogs. Ah, everybody's dog. I love dogs actually. How about you? <laughs> I really want to say dog, but I think I would say cat. Right? <laughs> 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 but growing up, we had this perception about no cat. Uh, cat. Oh, this is not cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is a no, no, no. Like, so. I love cats. Like I'm a cat lover. Yeah, I love you know. cats. I don't know why people just feel like they are the cleanest animal. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, but dogs are very, hmm? they're very friendly. They protect you. I they're know. They're cuddly. Like, I think, I think cats as well. They are loyal. Well, cats are very loyal. They're extremely loyal. clean. More than dogs. Extremely clean. <laughs> I just, I prefer dogs. Anyway, it depends on the kind of dogs. Anyway, but yeah. well, I don't. Well, I love dogs. I have big dogs in my house, but I'm just yeah. saying that I'm a cat lover. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Mm -hmm. All you dog dog people, well, all these people that are rare lions. I was watching you, uh, Instagram. <laughs> Somebody's pe playing pet lion, Play, pet As snake, a pet. python. <laughs> okay, oh. I will be watching. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Shane, what did you find for us in the news today? Okay, so um, it's no longer news that um, next week on October 10, the governorship election in Ondo State. So over the weekend, the supporters of APC and uh, P PDP clashed over the weekend and we are hearing reports that one person has died. So um Rotimi Akaridolu of the APC and Eitai Ojegede of the PDP, those are the front runners, those are the candidates mm. ahead of the elections and we're hearing their supporters are clashing. So we'd just like to urge everyone to just try to keep peace, calm down, let everyone exercise their right to vote peacefully in a calm manner and let us do things orderly and the right man and let's just ensure that you know we have a peaceful election free and fair election that way everyone will be sorted we can exercise our right without having to clash or cause a lot of mayhem mm -hmm. while exercising our right to vote so please this is just urging everyone to please 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 calm down and cast your votes peace peacefully so hopefully things would have settled down in Undan, we're urging everyone to keep safe even as they go absolutely. out there to vote. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm, I, I, you know, I just pray that they take a cue from um, Edo. Edo State and mm. hopefully maybe the monarchs as well will call we'll everybody, they sign a peace party, like, you know, we are not going to, no matter what the outcome is, we'll try to keep um, a free and fair election and also a very peaceful election. election. Yeah. Election. Most times, you know, even the, the turnout in Edo State was really sad for me because a lot of people were, were very scared about scared of the know, violence. Yeah. So it it's a cause for concern. Yeah, it's a cause yeah. for, for concern. All right, so I'll quickly take my story because um, 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 Bimbo story is almost like a follow up. Um, there was a video trending all over social media. A lot of celebrities have come out. So many people have come out. In fact, I saw a post um, when the president was talking to, uh, well, I mean, wishing President um, Trump a uh, <laughs> quick recovery from COVID. Whiskey now replied in that Uncle Face, your. Face your, your country. country, your country needs you, that SARS are killing people. Down the young man in Delta State was killed, you know, reported, I mean, allegedly yeah. killed by a, um, a SARS police operative in Delta State. And they did not only kill this young man, they now entered his car and wow. drove off. So this video has been causing a lot of uproar. So if you if you watch the video, there's a video playing. Um, some people now entered their own car and in a hot pursuit. Now, Friday night on my way home, I actually saw this one live in front of me. There were two, this is the video, I don't know if they can see. Two, 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 that's the Mercedes car trying to zoom out. Two police, um, two Mercedes cars that were unregistered were in front of me. I was wondering what was causing the gridlock. Apparently a Sienna bus had double crossed those two cars. Mm -hmm. They had successfully entered into one of the, 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 one, the Mercedes in front. The one behind refused to open the door and he deliberately drove off in front of a truck and bruised he, he didn't mind to bash the entire side of his car and he drove off these sars guys bundled this young man from the car by his belt and took him into a rickety sienna bus and then they entered his mercedes and they drove so only god knows what has happened to that young guy you know so this is the call that everybody is calling out sars that 
this is completely wrong. Oh. I watched the video online again of a young mm. girl. They went to a young girl's house. I think it's somewhere in Ondo State or where. They went, they took her, her panties and her hair. Wow. I mean, there, there are wow. so many videos just going all oh, over social God. media of how SARS is busy harassing people, you know. So, so that, that's where your story now comes in, yeah. So as a follow-up to mm. your story, the IGP, following the call from people about the um, police brutality, the IGP earlier today announced that the oper um, operatives of FSAS, another tactical squad, would um, cease from routine patrols, checkpoints, mounting of, um, of um, um, police checkpoints and you know, stop and search, typically they are conventional duties mm -hmm. that they should cease immediately from doing that and also they should um, also stop wearing morph tea, tea yes, to carry that. out operational um, or tactical operations. And for me, I feel like this is like the same thing that we keep doing, right? Because in 2018, the former IGP, um, Ibrahim Idris also sort of, they did a reform of SAS oh, and they called it FSAS. It's mm. more like just renaming, mm. you know, and then there is no much, um, it's still the same menace that is still, you know, in 2020 and we are still saying the same thing and it's as if they, they have more guts now mm. because young guys will just go out and then you feel harassed, you're harassed, your, your right to privacy, you know, it's been breached allegedly every time mm -hmm. and then a lot of people don't even have the mind to even call their lawyers because we lawyers and <laughs> and the, the victims as well you know because now um they've resorted to you know brutalizing um, lawyers as, as well, well. Wow. so it, it has it has gotten to a level where we need to um introduce a, a, a more robust reform in fact, enough um, of just saying overhaul yeah, changing names in, and in all. fact what i saw yes um friday night it wasn't even F SARS that was written behind their shirt. It was something F V K or something. It was one funny name. Funny. So it was not in SARS. It was not. It was just a funny name mm. that was wondering, Are these people armed robbers or posing as policemen? And the truth is that the police, um, the Inspector General of Police, must definitely. This one is not a a write up anymore. It's not press release. He has to really take this thing he seriously because something. some miscreants are actually taking advantage of this thing. Yes. And they the are sinners. infiltrating yes. the system because the this sinners, F, it wasn't even FSAS I saw. It was one VK something. It was not the regular conventional. I had not seen that yeah. tag before. Before. You understand? Yeah. So this is actually very important. Very, very and important. I hope that they follow through. And if, see, this thing is no hard. On Lekki <laughs> it's true. On Lekki Expressway. They should just go and position Mufti people, like the, the inspector general should plant his guys there. Yes. They will be able to apprehend these guys. Like today, Lagos State as well, they arrested two um, SARS it. officials Thank you. following that the direction. That's the, it, because yeah. they can actually get them. Yes, they and can. I think and I think they should sort of make a scapegoat of Thank most you. of them. And then we have evidence. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have video evidence. Some people have an you know, eyewitness that they can give. Absolutely. If they need to take action and sort of make them a scapegoat, and I think that will go a long way as well. I think that's a wrap, very, very nice way to wrap it up. Yeah. All right, so we're discussing networking, not sad. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you right after the break. Please stay with us.